So the trailer for The Nun 2 just dropped today, and it's occurred to me that I've never done a trailer reaction on this channel, so that's what we're going to do today. Alright, so today the trailer dropped. We got another chapter in the story of The Nun, another part of The Conjuring Universe. I've always liked the character of Valak inside of The Conjuring Universe. I've always thought The Nun had potential. I thought Valak was frightening inside of The Conjuring movies as well as one of the Annabelle movies. And I thought the character always had potential to have a really good movie. But the movie we got in The Nun was not good. I've always thought it was a boring movie. It's my least favorite in the entire Conjuring Universe. It had its good parts, but my problem with it is that it was drawn out. We got so much backstory that it became really boring, and by the time it got to anything good, I felt like I didn't care anymore. So it's one I don't care to go back and watch. So going into this uh, second movie, I don't have much high hopes for it. I'm not going to set my expectations too high because of what we got the first time. But what I'm hoping is that since they got all of the boring, dragged out, backstory shit out of the way the first time, then maybe we'll actually get more of the scares, you know, more of the haunting, more of the killing, more of what you expect from the Conjuring universe versus what we got in that first movie. So I'm going to go ahead and watch the trailer. I haven't seen it yet. This is going to be my first time watching it. I've never done a reaction before, so... So let's get started in three, two, one. There's something wrong with the school. Something doesn't feel right. Is she playing Megan? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, this girl from Megan. Sophie, what happened? I think there's something here. You think? That's not meant to be. Eh. A lot of bugs. Gross. That creeps me out more than anything see? else in the still world. I saw a nun. She's gonna be in the dark somewhere in the corner or some shit. They always do this. Yep, Saw <laughs> well, that one coming. What did she do? She's standing in her face. Oh, <laughs> I love jump scares. It's come back for me. This demon was once an angel. Rejected by God. <sighs> Stripped of power. Wants that power back. Is it a magazine store? The hell? It's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. You send that thing back to hell. Ooh, I like when they make them float in the air like that. That always creeps me out. Alright, so that was the trailer. I don't know how to feel. I really don't know how to feel about this one. It looks like we're gonna get less backstory, which is what I was hoping. Um, I'm seeing a lot more of Valak. I think we see more of Valak in this trailer than we did in the entire first Nun movie, so that's a good sign so far. Um, I'm seeing a lot more jump scares, at least from this trailer, and of course that's the way they always cut the trailers. They cut, they cut them in a way that makes every horror movie look fantastic, and it doesn't always pan out that way. But, you know, the jump scares look good. Um, typical Conjuring Universe stuff. The nun hiding in the dark somewhere in the corner. You don't see her until the flashlight goes over. But there was one scene that it went by really quick. I'm going to put the photo up here so you can see it. But she's floating in the air. And I think that's, um, like, the main character. But she's floating in the air. And, like, there's shit getting thrown around all over the place. And that's the type of stuff that I love from these movies, because that to me is frightening. Like the thought of something you can't see lifting you up off the ground against your will like that. That's the type of thing I want to see. What I don't like is 
it looks like once again we're gonna get way too much CGI out of this movie, and that was my issue with uh, movies like The Pope's Exorcist, for example. You know, it had potential and it was a good movie, but there was nothing scary about it. And I think that's due to all the CGI. I think that takes away from the the scare factor. Like that's what made The Exorcist really good was all practical effects. That's why it's still to this day probably the scariest movie. And I've always felt like you know production companies they go into the studio with this mindset when they don't understand their audience and they say hey just pack it with a lot of cgi because that's what scares people and that's not the case at all and i think that's gonna have an an impact on this particular movie i think it's gonna ruin a lot of this movie but at the same time you know it is a conjuring universe and hopefully they figured out what they did wrong in that first movie And they'll come back around this time and give us more of what we expect from The Conjuring, which is a lot of haunting, a lot of death, and all that usual stuff. So that's what I'm hoping for, but at the same time, I'm not going to set my expectations too high going into this film. Of course, I'm going to go to the theater to watch it. it. I do that with all of The Conjuring movies. I love The Conjuring Universe. I went to the theater to see the first Nun movie. I'll go see this one, but I'm not going to set my expectations too high and hopefully that'll help hopefully they'll surprise me and there'll be a really good movie there so let me know what you guys think in the comments is this something that you're hoping will be good is this something you're expecting to be good are you a fan of the nun franchise also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the next few months i'll be doing a countdown to halloween 45 so if you follow halloween franchise If you're going to the Halloween 45 convention, I'm going to be covering a lot of that material and doing the best and worst of every Halloween uh, movie in the franchise. So, subscribe.